We've also taken historic action to protect our manufacturing and defense industrial base. My administration has ordered a first-ever complete review of the manufacturing technology and supply chains we need to protect our country. We cannot have national security without economic security. To further unleash American enterprise, we have taken unprecedented steps to remove job-killing regulations that sap the energy, creativity, and dynamism from our country. We are cutting regulations at a pace that has never even been thought of before. Not even thought of. This is a groundbreaking campaign and involves every department and agency across our government. We are requiring every federal manager to systematically review and then remove the regulations that destroy your jobs, hamstring your companies, and undermine your ability to compete. And we need some regulations, but we don't need 35 regulations to take care of one item. We don't need to go through nine different agencies to get something taken off. We want beautiful, fast, efficient regulation that works. Thank you. Already, we are seeing the results of an economic policy that puts America first. Unemployment is at a 16-year low. Wages are rising. The stock market is soaring to record levels. The S&P hit a record high just this morning, as I was coming over. GDP growth hit over 3 percent last quarter, was just adjusted yesterday, and is now at 3.1 percent, a number that hasn't been seen in a very, very long time, and a number that's way ahead of schedule. And I believe we're doing better this month, but unfortunately, having the hurricanes hitting Texas and Florida and Louisiana and obviously uh, other locations, and especially where we are right now with the kind of money we're spending on Puerto Rico and Virgin Islands, it's, uh, it's going to be a little bit of a hit. But we're doing extremely well even this quarter, despite the hurricanes. Manufacturing confidence is at an all-time Hi. America is finally back on the right track. But our country and our economy cannot take off like they should unless we transform America's outdated, complex, and extremely burdensome tax code. It is a burden on our country. We have a once-in-a-generation opportunity to pass tax reform that is pro-growth, pro-jobs, pro-worker, pro-family, and pro-American. Our current tax code punishes companies for doing business in the United States and encourages them to leave. And that's what's happened for so many years. And that's one of the reasons, probably the prime reason, that companies are leaving our country and firing all those people. They're not bringing the jobs with them. They're giving other countries those jobs. Firing all of those great people, that's stopping. It's already started to stop about nine months ago. But that's stopping, and it's stopping right now. We need a tax system that encourages companies to stay in America, grow in America, and hire in America. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.